Hi YouTube, this, this video you're about to watch, I leave my camp spot just out of Exmouth. I go up to Exmouth and around to Turquoise Bay. I backtrack a bit, come back down to Coral Bay, come out to the highway, down and turn just before the Carnarvon, and go out to the Gascoigne Junction, up into Honeycomb Gorge, where I see some of the best scenery I've ever seen, back into Carnarvon, and down to Warrnambool. Hope you enjoy this one, guys. Well, good morning, everybody. This is, or was, my campsite at, um, just out of Exmouth, about sure, oh, 30 k's out of Exmouth. Rained all night last night. which didn't bother me because um, it washed all the salt water off my tent because the, the tent was covered in salt water because I camped under there the first night all the droplets of uh, salt and that that were on the on the branches went all over my tent so that's why I moved it out to here out to here last night so they said it was going to rain, I hoped it would, so it would wash all the bloody salt off the um, tent. So humid, absolutely just uh, my thing on my bike says 92% humidity. Not the best day for riding a motorbike. Alrighty, well that's Exmouth over there. As you can see the weather isn't real bloody flash. So there's a few things I've got to see here. I've been sitting around for two hours waiting for the weather to clear. Got to go to Turquoise Bay and Lighthouse and Harold Holt Naval Base. Right, uh, across the park I go, watch out tree. We're com coming through, coming through, coming through, coming through. Watch out bird, I'll run you over to. just out of Exmouth to the tip of Exmouth I suppose the, there's a thing called the Harold Holt Naval Military Base that's it there and what I'll do is I'll attach a aerial photo from Google it looks really awesome Alright, as you can see, there's a little bit of water lying around. Not much fun for camping in that red dirt or riding in it when it's wet. So, popping down here, bloody water, and it'd be full of salt to look at it, look at it, look at it. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. So, as a rule, that view there should be mind-blowing. It should be just absolutely incredible, but because of the rain, it's not... Check the colour of the water out. Amazing. Absolutely crystal 
clear. Such a nice beach. One of the top five beaches in the world, they say. Homestead Caravan Park, just out of Exmouth, and uh, asked, got any campsites? And they said, nope, none at all. And I said, what about this pad of ground just here? She said, oh, nah, can't let you camp there. I said, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Go, you good thing. And for those that thought I was exaggerating, have a look at the amount of water lying around at the front of the caravan park. That's a fail, isn't it? You think they'd do something with that? That's just going to run straight into that shed. This is on the way in or on the way out, whichever you want to call it, of Exmouth and they've made all these really nice canals, really nice. I would say they'd be quite expensive, the real estate in there. Oh, that's a big wall, that bastard, isn't it? Look at that! That's huge. Not very, not very pretty, not very pretty. And we're riding back into the shitty weather. Oh, it's following me. Oh, there's a funny looking bridge there. Oh, it's a walkway bridge. False alarm, false alarm. Oh, look at that. Well, that's interesting. That's nearly worth stopping and having a look at. Turn around, turn around. I was going to ride up the footpath, but... Oh, I'll stuff it, I will. Look at that. So, big brick wall and a little shed to put your stuff in. This guy's got a hydroponic set up in his, look, air conditioner and don't know what else you could do with such a tiny little shed. Alright people, this is Coral Bay. And I've popped in here thinking, thinking I might get a van spot, but <laughs> look at that. Oh my god, it's like friggin' the Gold Coast or somewhere. It's like Christmas. Oh, this is insane. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna go in and ask for a spot. Oh my god. What is it, the middle of August or the beginning of August? And look at the people out and about. Yeah. Hey, how you going? Good to see someone on a proper bike out here. Yeah. So there's the Great North Western Highway, I believe it is. I've just come from Coral Bay that way and Exmouth. As you'll see from the video, it rained all the way just about. And I've got a Chinese laundry thing going on here. I've got everything drying out. Everything is saturated. Absolutely everything. Shirt, pants, tent. Oh, there goes me fly. Fly's wet, covers wet, tents wet, jackets wet. All my food's wet. Everything is bloody. My helmet's wet. Everything's wet. But it's all part of the part of the fun, I suppose. Not much fun when you're wet, but at least I'm not cold. And I'm going to camp under here. I'm going to put the tent up there tonight. And if anyone comes along, well, too bad. 
That's just how it is. Uh, I'll have everything packed up anyway later on, I hope. Don't want to sound like I'm paranoid, but I, I think this rain's following me. Oh, shit. I got everything out to dry. And it's done to rain. There you go. to a little town and then maybe inland so that was my camp spot there last night wasn't a bad spot at all coming into Carnarvon going over the Gascoigne River fair bit of water in that not much going on down there is there not even flowing. About 20 k's out of Carnarvon, I turned off and I'm going to the Gascoigne Junction. Still raining, still windy. Nice flowers. That's about the only thing that's keeping me going, is the nice flowers. Look at all the water lying around from the rain. That's not a dam, oh, I wouldn't think it is. But it's full anyway. Well, here we are at the Gascoigne Junction. That was only 160 k's from the turn off, it seemed longer but... So I was just talking to a guy in the roadhouse, his name was Dean, lovely guy from Perth. Lovely, lovely guy, told me all about this place and the roads and stuff like that. Um, but this is another town that is council owned. So they own that server or roadhouse and caravan park there. There's a school up here, got five students, it's going off. What a tidy place. I don't know what it is about council-owned towns, they're just so tidy. Well, the oval's bloody looking green. I'll we'll just park here where it says no parking. That's just our roll. Well, that was a fail. Went to the community centre slash library slash information centre slash Medicare slash services slash everything. And I tried to use the internet, but wouldn't even load a page. So back down past the servo roadhouse into the carry van park right ahead if it isn't it is now we're gonna we're gonna call this site C well no I thought it was gonna be I'm gonna park just here oh look at that camp kitchen there thanks for charging tools and showers over there Good morning. So this is the campsite here at Gascoigne Junction. Nice spot. So we're going to pop out to a thing called Honeycomb Gorge. This is not rain, okay? As you can see, a lot of it is closed. But anyway. This is 62 k's, 50 k's tar, and 12 k's uh, dirt. All right, I'll get back to you when we get there. 
Gascoigne River again. Ooh, that's a skinny ass bridge, isn't it? But some water comes down this when it's bloody pumping. Well, there's a boat ramp, goes to nowhere, but at least I got one. Right, oh, so I was wrong. It's dirt all the way out to Honeycomb Gorge. I thought it was tar, but I was wrong again. But it is a really good road. The only thing is, it's clay top, and that's why all these roads are full. That's why most of these roads around here are closed, is because you just sink into it. You can see the lines in the road from where the vehicles have sunk into the top of the road. Oh, this is gorgeous. Couldn't you camp here? Oh, oh, oh my camp here not. So if I wanted to go straight ahead, that would take me to Mount Augustus. That's still about another 250Ks. But I'm not doing that. I'm going in here. Yeah, 260, yeah. Well, on the trip so far, that would have to be the most impressive mountain range I have seen. That is fairly nice. Kennedy Ranges. Bloody beautiful, isn't it? Uh, roads not, but yeah, the mountain sides. Wouldn't have thought it'd be sandy in here, but look at this. Bit of a surprise. A couple of things on me bucket list, Tunnel Creek and that. Honeycomb Gorge is one of them. I don't know why, but it just is. Look at that. I've actually got to stop and take this in. That's fairly, fairly impressive. Wow. Big rock face, big rock Holy mackerel. Wow. Look at that. Wow. That's why they call it Honeycomb Gorge. Look at the honeycomb. That is sick. Wow. Watching water come over that would be spectacular. Alright, a bit of a close-up of this honeycomb. Just 
going to use the iPhone to zoom in on these honeycomb. This is riding back out from Honeycomb Gorge. So nice. So nice. Definitely not a track for a two wheel drive car, that's for bloody sure. I've never been to Arizona, but this is what I would picture it to be like in America. Oh, hello. Danger, danger. And you can camp out here too. Oh, there you go. Oh, dear. Some more of the Kennedy Ranges in here. Quite nice. Well, this is a bit more of the Kennedy Ranges. Not going in there. This is a bit off track. This just wanted to show you. It's beautiful, it really is. Right, going back over the Gascoigne River. And I'm taking a left here. Got a bit of a surprise for you all. I found this by accident on wiki camps it's a big thing I don't know how big it is but it, this class is a big thing four kilometers hold on to your hats it's gonna be amazing and I think that is I'm gonna go with corn yep corn bang right they sell cocaine out here too and they got looks like they looked like capsicums or something. And they had a heap of strawberries back there. Bananas. Oh, tomatoes. Wow. And the big thing should be just up here. Unless it's shrunk and it's a little thing now. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's just a dirty old solo painted as Humpty Dumpty. What? Oh, that's cool. But it's not. But it is. But it is. But it is. But it's not. No, oh, well, Humpty Dumpty, eh? Marvin. So we've got tons and tons of grapes here. Did not know they were growing them here. And there was about 10 acres of bloody pumpkins back there. Pretty diverse. So this is Carnarvon, I'm not sure if this is the main street or not but I'll give you a bit of a look at whatever this is. Yep, I'm saying that this is the main drag. And there's Frigor this way but I'll still go down here. Oh, 
craft shop in there now. Lovely. Oh, nice church. And, well, what's he running for? What did he knock off? This is the waterfront along Carnarvon. Oh my God, that is absolutely beautiful. I had a feeling it was going to be nice, but... Oh. Beautiful. Out of Carnarvon there's a uh, attraction, it's one mile jetty. Probably a good thing nobody's walking on that jetty because it looks like it needs a bit of repair. Oh, there's a restaurant and cafe out here. Well, Carnarvon's got everything here. We've got bloody jetties, nice town, nice water. Lots and lots of different sort of fruit here. Satellite dish station. Oh, a rocket there. They've got everything going on here. And a cactus farm, which we'll get to in a minute. Space Museum. I was abducted by aliens once, but that's for another time. Okay, so just up here there's a cactus farm. Not sure what to expect. A cacti farm. And are they plastic? Oh, no, they're not plastic. It's pretty cool in there. Pretty cool. Oh, there's some whale bones there. That's right, they said they had some whale bones here. See them against a tank there. That's really nice. Really nice. This is actually the whale. Pretty bloody awesome. Yep. Big group cage. Big group cage. Alrighty. So goodbye Carnarvon. That was a bloody awesome visit. Really, really nice place. Really nice place. Look at the yellow flowers in there. That's beautiful. And then you got the purple flowers on the outside here. That's called vetch. It's a legume. We've got it in New South Wales. Cattle love it. I stopped and had a look at it yesterday when I was out at the Gascoigne Junction. And it's everywhere out there as well. And that is vetch, that purple one. And oh, there's this white one over here. He's a new player in the market. Look at that one there, that's like a little succulent. That's awesome. Here I am at Warrimal Roadhouse, left 
gas coin roadhouse this morning went out to Kennedy Ranges down to Carnarvon and now I'm here see how the toilets over there camp kitchen in there bloody awesome spot just drying the towel out watching the sun go down not too bad